they're rolling out the red carpet at the Bonn airport for the arrival of President Kennedy as he starts a four-day working visit to Germany. He's greeted by Chancellor Adenauer on behalf of the nation and receives a rousing welcome from the thousands who could crowd into the airport. He reviews an honor guard in the traditional manner, and he is also greeted by Vice Chancellor Erhard. Then the trip into Cologne with Mr. Adenauer. The route is lined with people, and the square in front of the cathedral is jammed. It is officially estimated that 350,000 greet the president as he arrives to attend mass at that medieval cathedral. This is twice the number that welcomed President Charles de Gaulle in September when he was here to woo Adenauer into the French camp. France has suggested that the U.S. might no longer be willing to meet its commitments in Europe. Mr. Kennedy pledged that the U.S. will remain in Europe as long as desired or required. The crowd was conquered by Kennedy and swept through police lines, both in Cologne and in Bonn, where 50,000 cheered themselves hoarse. Officials say as many as two million people greeted the president on his first day in Germany. In front of Bonn City Hall, Mr. Kennedy again hammers home his theme. The U.S. will never relax in backing freedom for all of Europe. The president's trip is billed as a visit to the German people. He appears to have won friends by the millions. 